How you doing, YouTube? What's going on today? We're playing some more magic. We're jumping in. Apparently there was an announcement, something about making standard go on for an eternity. I don't, I don't, until I get more details, see maybe there's some bannings, maybe there's not some bannings, but uh, in my opinion, that sounds, uh, I don't know. I don't think that's going to fix standard. I think having Fable the Mirror Breaker and our lovely Lady Shieldred in standard for any longer than it possibly needs to be uh, might be a mistake. That's my opinion. We're not talking about those cards today because we're not playing them. What we're playing, we're playing Black White Tokens. We're going old school style. Uh, I've not tried this deck out. I want to try a bunch of different cards. I think it's going to be pretty cool. We're playing a different Shieldred. It's a different card. Not our... Not our gain life, lose life lady, but our make them sacrifice, maybe flip it and resurrect all the creatures lady. It's going to be pretty cool. We are playing Evoke Despair, so we, are, we got the, some filthy, we got some filthy despair going on, but some some cards are unavoidable if you're playing colors. That's just the way it goes. Uh, we might actually dump, ooh, dump the Basilica, dump this, go up a Dross Pit, go up a Swamp. Just to make sure we have enough black sources and we don't get we don't get got by our own deck so we can't cast our remote despairs so what's the deck playing tokens girls hide nick's token every turn they can't block it's pretty bad but they have toxic that might be good tainted adversary makes a another bunch of stuff that doesn't block but he can pump out a whole bunch uh he himself becomes a is a death toucher can kind of trade we got one brand Executioner Thane. Uh, gain some life. It'll be pretty good. Uh, we got another problem in standard. We got Reckoner Bank Buster. It's just great card advantage. Uh, huge 4-4 beater. For late game, makes the thing to crew it. Draws a bunch of cards. Just a solid, solid card for basically any color, any deck. We're trying out Monastery Mentor. Uh, we have a lot of non-creature stuff that makes tokens. So I think maybe having that down, we can just... Kind of flood the board with those. One Liliana the Veil just for creature removal. Discard cards so you can kind of take over the game if they don't deal with it. Kaya. Uh, we're playing Kaya mostly because we can do... The doubling up tokens is good. Very strong. Uh, but we can actually... We have enough tokens that giving them death touch will make them actually get through. Deal damage. So we can start like getting our Scrubs Hives tokens... To pump out extra damage as they go, and then exiling all the graveyards, making a bunch of spirits. Very strong. I didn't even know this card was a card, but here he is. He's the Might Overseer. He's gonna give all of our dumb creatures plus one, plus zero in first strike, which would be good with Kaya, giving them death touch first strike, we can get through a bunch of damage, uh, and it just creates mites. Just as like good late game mana sink. Archangel Elspeth, what's more to say? Makes tokens, makes bigger creatures. I don't think we're returning our non-land permanents. I mean, we have a sum, but it's a ceiling, whatever. Uh, Elish Norn makes it incredibly hard for them to one-for-one one us. They have to spend a bunch of mana when they deal damage or when they target stuff. Uh, I guess it deals damage to you or permanent. Yeah, so like, there it makes their blocking way worse. So this is a way we can get through with our tokens. And then, I mean, if we flip it, we can, we can five times incubate things, which is kind of cool. I mean, Mondrak's pretty self-explanatory in a token deck. Pile on, just a nice removal spell. We can convoke it. Cool stuff. Soren, he's got no mirth. He makes tokens. He gets card advantage. He kills your opponent at the end. Jildred, uh, this is one I'm kind of iffy on. I don't know if we're actually going to play. Like, if we should be playing this. I just kind of like the card. I think it's like a more balanced, fair version of the other Jildred. Comes to play, makes him sacrifice a non-token creature. Then we can flip it eventually, and then the flipping is pretty wild. Like, if we can actually get the true scriptures to fully resolve, I, I don't see us losing that game. Invoke Despair is just the best black card to cast. Uh, we want to flip this. We have our creature tokens lifelink. Basically, that's why it's here. Invasion of... It's good in late game. We can kind of reanimate something else. We don't have, like, any other battles, really. So there. One Eternal Wanderer. Good removal can get rid of opponent's tokens, can make two twos every turn. Pretty good. Hordling Bloodlord, I wanna try it out. We're making a bunch of tokens, we should be able to convoke it pretty easy and then it's just a tutor on a seven, six body. I think this card's actually way stronger than it looks. 
It looks like a big, dumb 8-mana dragon, but I think it's much more. Uh, and that, mana base, pretty self-explanatory. A couple of Janos, a couple Tekamuna, Tekanuma, uh, some basic lands. We got Dross Pits. I've, I've been feeling lately that I've just been drawing a bunch of lands and them not doing anything. So maybe we'll get got by it coming to play tap, but it drawing a card, I think, is just so much more upside. Mirix, same idea. I mean, Mirix is just a good card, especially if we're playing tokens. We're going to play it anyways. Sideboard, basically removal. Invasion of Innistrad, Wander Emperor. Both make tokens, both remove stuff. Troxel, same idea. Uh, does not make tokens, but Lauren's going to be our disenchant. Lesia, Lisa, Lisa, Lysia. Whatever. The Forgotten Archangel, good against Graveyard Hate. Kaya, a huge reanimator target for invasion, able to close out a game. White Sun Twilight, that's our life gain slash wrath effect. Enough chatting. Let's get into it. Let's play some magic, shall we? We're not playing Battles with Thorn right now. We will play Battles with Thorn later. Who knows? Spoiler alert for next video. Let's get in. Ranked match. Best of three. That's how it should be. I don't know if that's how it should be. That's how we're going to play it, though. You play magic however you feel like. I'm going to play it how I feel like. How about that? There we go, that's what we like to see. We're on the play. Uh, we'll keep this. We got the good old Reco Bank. Uh, a little light on mana though. Uh, I think we're gonna start with this. Start pumping out our tokens. To give all tokens, creature tokens. Uh, Creatures you control with toxic. Oh, not just tokens. Just toxic creatures. Alright, no attacks. We're playing against the beautiful red black deck. Uh, they will probably attack us. They will probably play a Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Oh, Grave Grave Band Trespasser is pretty cool too. Uh, so we're definitely going to kill this. Yes, please. Auto pay. We will discard. Good old Shelly. Yeah, we can't let that flip. Uh, we will put this. The graveyard? Yeah. That's the graveyard. We don't need two of those. Uh, yeah, we just can't let them flip this and then just start attacking us. That's gonna not end well. Speaking of not in it, well, god damn. Yeah, we'll draw a card. Yeah. The world of this. Oh, I've got the perfect tools for the job. All right, back it in. You're gonna see what we can do. I mean, Kaya's at least might take a brunt of the beats, which is nice. Never mind. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I didn't notice my life was so low. That was cool. Um, yeah, so Shilladrid. That's what Shilladrid does. That's how Shelly wins. Uh, so we're just gonna bring in these. We're gonna bring in these. Uh, Archangels. Do we want Kaya? Uh, they have Graveyard Hate main deck. No, maybe no Kaya. We're gonna go down to Shildred. We're gonna go down an Elish Norn. One of these guys. Monastery Mentors. Uh, do we want Liliana? We might actually go down a... No, we're gonna keep the Skrelves Hives. Kind of what the deck's about. Um, one of them. Maybe we'll only play one angel. And we'll run it like that. We need to put our removals in. Because if we don't, we just get bodied by all their cards that two for one us, and then Shildred. Try it out.
standard sanctum. Black Hood Cliffs, beautiful. Ah, uh, we're gonna start with the Rector Bank Buster. Ah, they, they saw, they got jealous. They did the same thing. Uh, we're just gonna draw a card now. We want to hit our lands pretty bad. So we can at least have Invasion up if they try and uh, cast something we gotta deal with. Interesting. Um, yeah, let's try it. Beautiful. Let me play him. Him, her, they. Can't tell. They. Can't ever tell. That's the joke. Woo! They got jealous. Um... Do I want Might Overseer? Do I want to just Elishnorn? I'm just going to Elishnorn. I'm going to make them pay for what they do. They want to light up the night. They're going to have to pay some mana for it. Uh, Elishnorn against a mana screwed opponent is pretty strong. Um. Hmm. I mean, I guess we just attack, right? It's three to activate that. Fine. What do you got? Sure. Drain him. We'll hold up Wandering Emperor. In case they play, like, Blood Tide Harvester, Crew the Reckoner Bank Buster, try to swing in. We'll, we'll exile the Reckoner Bank Buster. Absolutely. But I seriously hate that. Anyone who harms my kids, uh, let so, me do the talking. So much garbage. Uh, we're actually gonna keep the adversary. Hey. Okay. Not because we care that much, but because we are. Looking to sacrifice one of these if they invoke despair us again. Let's see what they got going on. Children doesn't save them, we're gonna invasion. Yeah, I see it. I saw it coming. I saw it coming, opponent. Nonsense. Yep. Let's just cast. Dominus. Hold a second. It's fine that we lose him. Is it a third invoke despair? Are we just chaining invoke despairs? Okay, they got crazy man. Gravy man's fine. Yep. We'll lose life, gain life. Okay, second gravy man. Yep. Got us. Yep, we saw the crew incoming. We knew that was happening, opponent. Uh huh. Beautiful. Totally fine with that. Uh, my Overseer, very helpful right now. 
They can't really attack in. We have a 4 2 first strike. If they have like a destroy all the creatures thing, which I doubt they're playing, uh, I'll just I'll sacrifice my two creatures, get my Mondrak indestructible. Oh, okay. That sucks too. Plan? Fire doesn't need a plan. We gonna take down for four. Three damage. Up to two targets. Got him. Sure. Oh, man, I'm gonna kill Chandra. No way I'm leaving that alive. Uh, before they block, if they animate, I'm gonna invasion of Innistrad it. Uh, tap A number, tap creatures. Until, okay. So the, I, I can't make this smaller in response to them trying to crew because it's part of the cost. But it happens before priority is given to me. I believe. Actually, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to let this happen. Yep. Yeah. Kill that. Um... Exile this. Yes, please. We're gonna discard Kaya. Get that life. Beautiful. I am almost sad to see you go. Uh, they're not playing white, so we should be able to get through. There's no wandering emperor. No oh. what, do they, what do you think? Are they doubling it up? Is that just a static ability on this card? Maybe casting a sports break copy it. You mean what the? How come I've not played around this card? This card seems amazing. Double duress? They gave me the double dirty. Alright. your training. Mm-hmm. Might just die here. Wow, this is, uh... This is a sad end. This is a sad end to tokens. Uh, we didn't try anything to really make tokens with our Mondrak in play. Uh, we've just been basically stumbling underfoot since we got double invoke to spared. Uh the way of standard. Uh, if we drew our Invoke Despair, it would have been a lot different, I think. Uh, the double duress was really brutal for us. Because we could have at least used Invasion to kill Shildred or Soren to at least make lifelinkers. A whole bunch of lifelinkers. But, way it goes. We take our damage. Uh, they ping us for three. We lose the game. That's lethal. No That's also lethal. Sure. Let's uh, give that a good game. And uh, let's hope... Uh, let's play our next match. And we'll just maybe... Uh, we'll just think about it. We'll think about this for a little bit, you know? We'll think... Uh, why? 
Why is this going to happen for another 16 months? Because the way I see it is that Fable the Mirror Breaker into Shildred into Invoke Despair. If they make something better than that, it's not going to solve Standard. That's going <laughs> to basically make Standard one deck format. Right now, there's like, you know, it's only like 50% of the playing field. So, you know, you got to coin flip to see if you're going to play against the exact three cards. You're probably going to see one or two of them. Uh, you're definitely going to see Ranked or Bank Busters in most of your games. Uh, but if they start making cards better than those cards, like more powerful, then I mean, that's not going to, it's just going to be too wild. And maybe Eldorain's going to do it, and Eldorain's going to come out, and uh, it's going to be so... <laughs> it's just like the original Eldorain, it's going to break all the formats. Or maybe they'll bring back Companions, that'd be fun. That'd make Standard more versatile, I think. Just bring back Companions. Ah, we're going to need to calm it out. I see. We did not draw the appropriate card. Which would be a land. Um, we want to draw a card, we want to just... We'll play this guy. Yeah. He at least blocks this stupid thing. Uh, we're in bad shape, though. We didn't draw land. Yeah. We're getting, getting grosser and grosser by the second. Literally minus one. Yeah. They're just using it because it's a one-mana spell that draws a card. Yep, Ivy. Attacks. Predictable. Now nah, we're just gonna start drawing cards. There's not much option we got. Well, this one's looking pretty bad. A lot of stuff, but nothing to do. No attacks? All right. It's teasing us. We got nothing to do here. We probably should just scoop and sneak on to the next game, but uh, here we are. Doing nothing. They play like... I might actually just be dead right here. Very possible. Yeah. Resolves. Phase them both out. We're going to take three. Doesn't really matter. Space the creatures out. Look at what we did. Um, yeah, nothing. We're not getting back in this. We're conceding. We're not going to show them our other stuff. They don't really know what we're doing. They might think we're playing zombies. Who knows? So, what do we want against this? We want Atroxil. Absolutely. Uh, we're probably going to play these Invasions. I don't think we even think we want anything else. Uh, let's go down Eternal Wanderer. Let's go down these Elish Norns. And... Nah, no, not a Shieldred. Shieldred's at least a removal spell. We probably want to go down a Geist Hunter. Keep it like that. We're playing a little bit of a removal spell, that, but we don't. We need it to be non-conditional. So, them attacking, it's unlikely they're going to be attacking with the Venerated Rock Priest, which is the whole combo piece of the deck. 
So we don't really want... Don't really want to play Wandering Emperor. Uh, but Invasion of Zendikar, or Innistrad, should be able to do it. But this hand's okay. We'll keep it. Kind of want to keep this just to make our Monastery Mentor tokens better, but... No. We're, we're keeping lands. Bankbuster and a mentor. Hope we get there. Bankbuster. Mentor. They got make disappear. No? Okay. I mean they have they have the phase out stuff. And Tiver's the punch, whatever the punch thing is. Tiver's might, but that's, that's about it. Alright, so. Now we have the opposite problem, as our decks always do. Um, we're not going to attack in, there's no point there. We will hold up Invasion of Innistrad. We're going to kill that. When we get a chance. Sure thing. Poison. They get to draw a card. They're gonna draw another card. We're never gonna be able to remove this rock priest now. Alright, well. We're going in. Mm-hmm. And a turn. Sure. Phase it out, right? It gets hexproof. Okay. Sure. Hexproof. Got me. Yep. We'll block, though. Mm hmm. Good stuff. Awful. Uh, we're actually. Our deck has betrayed us twice in a row. We done. We out of this game. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No lands into all lands. It's uh, it's the story of my deck building. Sure, everyone's slipping around. We're getting a thousand poison counters. Everyone's big. Sure thing. Oh, now we're straight up dead. Right? Target's one creature, we get nine poison. We get ten poison. So they double up on both their Vengeful Rock Priests, um, but literally the card gives us poison counter, so there is no escape from that. So we're 0-2. We've played against a green-blue combo deck. And we've played against the lovely black-red thing. Black-red thing. I'm just going to call it, I don't know. <laughs> black-red best deck in standard, probably. Most consistent deck in standard, at least. We're trying to do it. We'll get in for another one. We'll see how it goes. Alright, we'll play first. Hand's not great. Uh, we'll try it. We'll put Eternal Wanderer to the bottom.
At least we got, like, Bran to mentor one day with Sheila Grid. Not today, opponent. I mean, if we just draw lands, then we at least have a full curve. It's not a great curve, especially when they got you know, this guy. We're doing the thing, we're drawing the lands. They're doing their thing too, where they Blood Tithe Harvester, they duress Blood Tithe Harvester into Fable the Mirror Breaker. Uh, next turn, if they play Shildred, they've they've unlocked, they've unlocked everything. They've unlocked all achievements. Yeah, I'm just gonna take that. I don't care. Fine. Uh, yeah, we're probably gonna do this. Make the tokens. We definitely make more tokens. Smash it in. You fight for me. They gotta get a new hand, basically. Make it much better. It's gonna be a tough one. We'll see how it goes. We gotta drain them if they try and kill our creature. Other than Vran. We will absolutely block here. Yeah. I don't care. I don't block like that. Sure. You cut him down. Should have cut down before combat, I think. Look for some lands. Yes, and we'll definitely reveal that. I will reveal this to be a kill of Blood Tide Harvester. Thank you. Got three cards in graveyard. That's pretty good for us. Uh, we are just going to attack both these. We want to get their life total down. Let's go. They have to deal with Shilladrid before they can attack our Soren, so that's good news. One more Black Source and we can invoke Despair as well. And then we're playing the, de the Degenerate deck. Yep, they did it. We're gonna deal with Soren for sure. Right? Activate Reckoner Bank Buster. At least we get a follow up with Elish Norn, even if we don't draw Black Source. Okay. We saw it coming. No surprises there. Things have not gone my way. Mm, let's hive it up. Get an extra point damage in there. Put something in play for. Us to make them draw one last card when they inevitably evoke to spare us. Which is nice. Them drawing one last card also protects our two good creatures and just gets this monk, a little sacrificial monk. When they inevitably evoke to spare us. Longer Scopes Hive stays in play, the worse and worse their Invoke Despairs become, because then we just have these dumb little 1-1s one -ones that we can sacrifice. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so they gotta attack us with both these. We're not gonna block. We see the Invoke Despair coming a mile away. We know what's coming, opponent. Yeah, good stuff. You have all the treasure. Whoa! 
who would have known how how did how did they have that card yeah now they're dead so sorry opponent didn't help there you go awful 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 what are we doing I just want these and this 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 dies to invoke despair too like it doesn't hexproof on this card is completely pointless with invoke despair running around i think we just probably want two archangels we'll go down eternal wanderer we'll go down one mandrick uh maybe we'll go down a kaya and what white sun twilight a little bit of life gain a little bit of stabilization but we don't want too many of too much of it, so. All right, Mavroni, let's do it. We're gonna keep it. We are cursed to lose with Reckoner Bankbuster, but we're gonna keep it. We're gonna see how it goes. Uh huh. Okay, they're not doing anything. That's what I like to see. Okay, so they're gonna continue to not do anything. We're just gonna draw cards. Okay, Shield Jude's in play. We will not draw any more cards. Uh huh. Good thing. We will. God damn. I guess we're just gonna pump one ones out. Until we draw a card and hopefully, hopefully be able to Shield them. What do they got? They got Invoke Despair? Is it children to evoke despair? Are they the true gamers they, they deserve to be? Are they going to kill two creatures, draw a card, gain two life, I lose two life? Almost cruel ultimatum. Head down? Okay, that's fine. Oh my lord. Elspeth. Elspeth dead. Elspeth dead to a channel. There's no hope. There is no hope for us. Uh, they at least can't attack me with their children unless they deal with my tainted adversary. But what could they have? What could they have? Oh my god. Alright, next game. Back in it. We're playing first. We're <laughs> dumping this. We're keeping this. Sure, why not? Man, yeah, we can't go down to five. There's no There's no redemption on that. Our deck is not suited to fight against this deck anyways. Uh, which we probably should have thought about. Seeing as it's the only deck that people are playing in standard right now. Alright. They're doing the same thing we're doing. They've hacked the system. We'll draw a card before we not allowed to draw cards anymore. We got Invasion of Kovada. Maybe that's pretty cool. Gravy Man! Alright. It's not Fable, but it is the Gravy Man. Yep. Yeah. We'll take uh we'll take a fifth of our life. Put it into the graveyard. Uh, we'll play this guy. What do you think about that opponent? 
It's a first strike. Yeah, first strike. What do you what do you think about that? Huh? They don't know what to think about that. They're confused. They've never seen this card before. Neither did I until I built this deck. Okay. Ah, oh, I see. Well, I'm glad they don't have to do anything. Uh-huh. Yeah. We'll get it. Domed. Uh, we're gonna do this. Yeah. I mean, they're gonna kill their Greybear Trespasser. We're gonna draw two cards, lose all of our life. Um, what else can we do? The problem with our deck is that we're not playing Shield of the Apocalypse. Resolve. Resolve. Okay, we're at nine. We're at seven next turn. They remove our creature. We're basically dead. Uh, yeah, they don't have to do anything. They can just sit with a uh, good old Shelly here. Okay, very good. All right, we have to crew. Get the crew going. We're going to block. We have no other course of action. I'm glad they attacked, because now we can at least Liliana this stupid thing away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the trigger. You put it on the stack. Very good. Liliana. If they have a way to flash out a creature. Um, throw your card. This this. There we go. And you think you can Smelly Screlly. Let's go. Uh, so our plan is to discard Lisa, Forgotten Archangel, and then bring it back. Good stuff. Uh, we're not going to do that, actually. We're going to tick up. Okay. We all have things we'd rather. Do we have anything else to bring back? No, I think that's probably the best card. Good stuff. Invasion. Bring her back. And turn. I mean, they can have go for their throat or something, but. It's a, it's a risk we have to take. I mean, they can invoke Despair us again. Then there's nothing we can do about it, really. We can get past the Shieldred, at least. Okay, that's good. We just want to get one attack in with the, this card. With the Angel. And then we can at least gain our life back. Uh, they have Liliana Protection now with this silly little pilot. D-Blade. D-Blade of the Mirror Breaker. Good stuff. Alright, now this might sound insanity, but... We're gonna attack. We're gonna attack... This. Alright. Okay, you with me? Invoke to spare. What are they going to sacrifice? It's probably Pilot and obviously Fable. Interesting. Okay. We're doing this. I know when I'm so not now they can't it. crew Reckoner Bankbuster right away. <laughs> We're going to play our Reckoner Bankbuster. And we will pass the turn. 
We want to flip this invasion because giving all of our tokens lifelink right away is pretty much what we want. They could have, I mean, another an invoke despair would suck. Oh my God. <sighs> yeah, they're gonna five that, five me. Five me, four life, five leaf. Come on. They didn't five me. Interesting. Okay. This is this is kinda good news for us. In the sense that they now I know they have a hundred percent um invoke despair. Okay, so they're gonna cut us down. Sure. We'll play the mentor. We'll draw a card. We'll give it a hive. Alright. We're double hiving. We're living on the edge. Our life total is going to go down very fast. Oh my god, our life total is going to go down so fast. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-uh. Oh, we're just straight up dead. Oh, this is so depressing. Do we even have an out? I don't know if we do. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Yep. Got it now. Sure. Come on, opponent. Block. So, we, we lose the game. Because it doesn't matter what we do. Um, we were losing life. We're just losing static life from Shilladrid and Skrull's Hive. So if we can't, we're not allowed to draw cards, we're not allowed to start our turn. That's just the way it goes. Uh, we weren't able to, oh, I have, yeah. They can't attack me, really. <sighs> That's the way it goes. That's the way it rolls. What do we got going on, opponent? More delightful Magic the Gathering cards, I'm sure. Fucking serious. All right. Very good. trade. Gotcha. Whoa. And that's the game. And so that is, um, there you have it.
That's how tokens works in standard right now. You, well, I mean, whatever this build is. There's probably a way better build of tokens than standard. You probably want to be a bit more aggressive, less grindy, but uh, we'll go back. We'll look at the deck. Take a look. Look at these black-white tokens. Isn't this cool? So we got all this. This deck here. Uh, cards that were good. Honestly, Vran, Vran was alright. Liliana of the Veil is pretty cool. Invoke Despair is pretty good when we cast it. Uh, we didn't get to see any Hordling Broodlord. My Overseer was okay. Um, flipping this is always good. But as you saw, you're not allowed to play enchantments in standard. Uh, unless it makes, you know, unless it's Fable and the Mirror Breaker. Uh, and you're not allowed to play tokens like this. Because you're just going to get beat out by Shildred. Uh, if you don't have 100 pieces of removal and perfect draws, you're not going to win. So this deck, I give a 0 out of standard. Unfortunately, I don't think it's there. I don't know if it's going to do anything. We're going to delete that. I will catch you in the next one. See you next video where maybe we play Battles with Norn. We're going to play Battles with Norn next one. Alright, catch you then. Bye!